summer. Mr. Gao is moving mountains. These giant terraces are part of a government campaign to reclaim agricultural land and stop the precious soil from being washed away by the rain. When it comes. His wife begins a daily ordeal, a trip down a massive gorge in search of water. My body aches. Sometimes I don't think I can make it. This tiny stream is the only source of water for the entire village. Mrs. Gao makes the two-hour journey twice a day. Three days. You have to be cheap. I have no choice. I have to get the water. If I don't make the trip, then they have nothing to drink. But the water is yellow with sand and sediment. Before they can drink it, they must let it sit for hours. And sometimes, Mrs. Gao makes the arduous trip only to discover that the stream has temporarily gone dry. Look at the place where we live. It is not good. If only we could live in a better place. If only we could have a better life. This is my wish, but it will never come true. So I hope you don't think. China faces another threat to a terrible land. One even the Great Wall is powerless to resist. Northern China is drying up. Increased demand for water is draining the even underground supplies. Land turning to sand. Once this was cropland, then the sand came. Many fled, abandoning their homes and farms. The top of the sand hill was even 